I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions from previous test papers of my student and I hope they are going to help you to prepare for your own test. The first question here from the test paper is consider a line segment with endpoints A14 and B3-2. Find the equation of perpendicular bisector of AB in standard form, right? So let's consider a line. Let's say this is our line AB. So just draw any line, right? You don't have to really put the coordinates as it is. So, so I prefer to write A here. I know this is positive and I mean, okay, it doesn't matter. So A coordinates are 1 and 4 for us and for B the coordinate points are 3 and minus 2. So we need to find equation of a perpendicular bisector. That really means a line which goes through the midpoint and is perpendicular, right? So that is the line we are interested in finding. So slope of this perpendicular bisector has to be negative reciprocal of that of AB and it has to go through the center of line AB. So that is what you need to do. So I hope you have understood what is really required. And now let's begin solving the question. So first step should be either find slope of AB or the midpoint. Let's begin with the midpoint M. So the midpoint M is equal to sum of these two x values divided by 2. So we could write coordinates as 1 plus 3 divided by 2 and y coordinates will be 4 minus 2 divided by 2. Correct? So just add them, divide by 2 and that gives you the coordinate points as let me write in steps and that is 2 divided by 2. You No need to rush here, right? So 2 comma 1. No calculation mistakes. Now in coordinate geometry, calculations are very important. So calculator should always be handy. We found M. Now let's find slope of AB, right? So slope, lowercase m of AB. Slope is, as you know, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I didn't write the formula in the first case. It is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, right? Okay y2 minus y1 you could actually consider any point as first point or second point I prefer to write 4 now here in this case 4 minus minus 2 so that is y2 I'm taking this as as coordinate 2 this as 1 right and x is 1 minus 3 so let's say 1 minus 3 and that gives me 4 plus 2 which is 6 and that is minus 2 so what we get here is minus 3 as the slope of our line. Is it okay? Since minus 3 is the slope of AB, what is going to be the slope of perpendicular bisector? Let me call this as, as uh, now PM, right? So slope of PM should be equal to negative reciprocal so we do negative of negative 3 is positive so it is 1 over 3 correct so the slope becomes 1 over 3 and we also know that the midpoint will be on the perpendicular bisector so it has to go through the point m whose coordinates are 2 1 now since we have to write in standard form it's a good idea to use the equation of line which is m times x2 minus x right or you can say x2 minus x1 we normally write x minus x2 also you can write uh, equals to y2 minus y is it okay so so basically we have rearranged the slope formula and then return it Good. Now, slope is 1 over 3, so let's write down slope m as 1 over 3 in this equation. So we'll write 1 over 3 
times the x value is 2, right? So, uh, but it's always better to write x here. Let me write x minus x1, y minus y1. That this is better actually. So, we'll write x as such minus the x value which is 2. However, you could interchange both sides. Is it okay? But this is standard x minus x1. x1, y1 is our coordinate point. So let's call this as x1, y1, right? And uh, we get y minus 1, correct? Now we can cross multiply. So we have x minus 2 equals to 3 times y minus 1, correct? And now we can open this bracket. So we get x minus 2 equals to 3y minus 3. I'll take it to the right side and complete the solution. So we have, let me rewrite, x minus 2. We'll bring these terms to the left side. Minus 3y plus 3 equals to 0. So we get x minus 3y minus 2 plus 3y is plus 1 equals to 0. So that becomes the equation of perpendicular bisector. So our answer is x minus 3y plus 1 equals to 0. So I hope you find it absolutely clear, right? Some of you who are not very familiar in using this line equation, you could actually use y equals to mx plus b, then rearrange and write down your answer in standard form. So it's important to write the answer in standard form as that is part of your question. Is it okay? So I hope that's absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.